Hey guys, it's Chris Miller Tech here, back from another video, and as you can see, I am in a completely different surrounding right now because where I live, I just received about 16 to 18 inches of snow, and so snow is all over and it's pretty chilly as well. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing how well does the Mavic Pro Platinum fare in cold weather, in sub-freezing weather, and I'm going to be just flying it around and seeing how the responsiveness is and how long the battery life is on this in the cold compared to when it is usually warm. So now that I have said this intro, I'm pretty cold right now, let's get to uh, taking off and then seeing how well this actually flies. So first up, I just want to say that this video may not even be possible if it wasn't for Hobby Inc. RC for sending me this landing pad about eight months ago. They've been wanting a video about this thing for me for a while and I just have not gotten to it. I haven't really had a use for it, but Today is definitely the day that I'm going to need to be using it. What it is, is it's just one of the landing pads that goes and unfolds like this. And as you can see, it has two different sides. It has orange and blue. So yeah, thanks to them for sending this out. I'm going to be just placing it on the snow. And then because of this, I'll be able to take off from here. So if anybody's interested in what the actual temperature is right now, this is the temperature where I am. It is 23 degrees, which not too long ago, like literally probably about 10 minutes ago, it said that it was 21 degrees. So maybe fluctuating right now, but let's get the remote controller started up and the drone and then let's take off and see how well this goes. Jeez, I'm falling all over out here. So I do got to say, first off, this landing pad actually is really nice. Like it folds up into about a foot wide diameter circle. So that's pretty awesome. And then it folds out to about three feet by three feet. So that's awesome. So let's take off. One thing that I'm noticing already is that the controls are a little bit more delayed and that the drone is a little bit more subject to like drafts and stuff like that because it is cold, of course, but you can get some absolutely beautiful shots out here in the winter right now. Just look at this. I am seeing some really strange like gimbal jittering. I'm not really sure if that's due to the cold or the downlink on my phone right now, but that's pretty interesting. One thing I'd just like to mention is that if you're flying out in freezing cold weather like this, you're definitely gonna want to watch your battery percentage because it is subject to drop way faster. It shouldn't drop as fast as like your phone does. Uh, that's one thing that you're also gonna wanna pay attention to is your phone percentage, but like the drone itself, it can definitely drop a lot faster. Also make sure you keep track of the voltage. A regular voltage is anywhere from like three and a half to four, so if it gets lower than that, then uh, I'd wanna watch out. <laughs> Absolutely amazing shots that you can get though. One thing to note is that if you're flying out in cold weathers like this, I would highly suggest getting yourself some touch capacitive gloves that work with like your phone screen and stuff. I don't have any thin ones right now, that's why I'm not wearing any right now, but my hands are turning pretty cold. Also another thing is if you are gonna fly in like winter weather where there's a lot of light like this, I would highly suggest going and purchasing some ND filters or neutral density filters. I sadly don't have any right now. I wish I had some, but yeah, I don't own any. So the uh, shutter is at insane 2000 shutter speed right now, which is insane. And the shutter definitely shouldn't be at that. So like if you're wanting to film actually good looking video, I'd suggest going and investing in some neutral density filters if you're planning on uh, flying in bright conditions like this more frequently than not. I'm just gonna bring the drone back for a second because honestly the gimbal jittering is pretty annoying and I just wanna do a gimbal calibration really quick. So this is a bit odd. One thing is uh, I am gimbal calibrating right now. Usually the gimbal calibration completes in like a minute, minute and a half. It is currently stuck. There we go, now it's moving. It was stuck at 5% there. So it was like having some struggles uh, in this cold weather, I don't know why. Maybe the motors are a little bit slow. That's probably why the gimbal is kind of jittering and stuff like that, but it is getting through its calibration now, so that's a good thing. Another thing to keep in mind that if you're flying out in cold weathers like this, you don't really want to be flying your drone when it's actually wet out 
because water can go and freeze onto your props and you don't want that because that will mess up your aerodynamics and your drone is very likely to crash in that case. So if you are flying your drone out in cold conditions, you're gonna wanna make sure that the air is very dry and it is not wet because if it's wet, then you're kind of doomed. Oh my gosh, snow is going all over. Stop, hey, the gimbal just finished calibrating. So I'm gonna go and try and get some good shots just to throw in a little montage starting right now. I'd just like to mention that DJI states explicitly on their website and in the user's manual and stuff like that that you are not supposed to fly your drone in any weather that's below 32 degrees. 32 degrees Fahrenheit, that is. I'm pretty surprised that it's flying as well as it is right now, but does that mean that I should be flying at this temperature? Absolutely not. So to answer the overall question of how well does the Mavic Pro Platinum fly in freezing cold temperatures i'd have to say pretty well i haven't had any problems really so far except for the slow gimbal calibration as well as in the beginning the jitter was really strange like i usually don't have to calibrate the gimbal every single time i fly but that was one thing that i had to do but overall i found that it works pretty soundingly well in these cold temperatures one thing though is like i said in the beginning of this video is the actual response time of when you are controlling this thing is a little bit strained. You have to have a little bit of time to get used to it because most people usually aren't used to the controls reacting so slow and also you have to be used to the actual platinum having a tougher time with winds when flying in the cold because it just like doesn't have the amount of power that it usually does when you're flying in like 50 or 60 degree weather or warmer. So I've been flying for a while now and I still have 13 minutes of flight time remaining. So that's pretty awesome. Of course you can go in sports mode if the uh, actual <laughs> wind in this cold weather is affecting you, but I wouldn't fully recommend it because I'm not sure if that's that good of an idea, but I'm in sports mode currently and it's doing well. So if you wondered how well this actually would work when you are flying in sports mode, well, it's doing pretty good. So I'm just trying out a mode right now. I'm using point of interest mode, seeing how well this works in these cold temperatures. It appears to be working fine, so those modes work. All right, so you know how in the beginning of this video I said that I'm probably gonna have less battery life than usual? Well, I've been flying for about 25 minutes now, and I still have about seven minutes remaining of flight time. Usually my flight time is anywhere from 27 to 30 minutes, but it looks like it might even be longer than that, which is really astounding because this thing, it's flying in freezing cold weather. I'm not saying go out and fly in cold weather like this all the time, but for some reason, my battery seems to almost have better battery life than it typically does. So in the end, you guys, could you fly your Mavic Pro or Mavic Pro Platinum or Mavic Air in colder temperatures like these? I mean, probably, you probably could, but should you is the real question, probably not. <laughs> you probably shouldn't be flying in these cold temperatures, and like I said, make sure to take into consideration how many flights you've actually put on your battery. I'd say past maybe even 60 flight times on the batteries, just pay attention to your voltage if you choose to fly out in cold temperatures like these but i just gotta say now i'm not responsible if you lose your drone because of flying in these cold temperatures or them becoming damaged or something but anyways uh yeah i was pretty surprised by the actual results of how well the mavic pro platinum flew in these cold temperatures it worked fantastically it's just the controls were just a little bit laggy because the actual response time for it to compensate for the cold 
was a little bit slower. But anyways guys, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope it helped you out. If you did, make sure to let me know by clicking that thumbs up button down below. If you'd like to see future videos like these from me, then click that subscribe button down below. And if you'd like to see my last video, that should be up there and some random video should be down there. But anyways guys, that is it for this video. See you in the next one. Peace. So to put this away, all you gotta do is do that. Do is do this. Do this. In the way, all you gotta do, gotta do is do this. There we go. Finally.